Hello everybody. Um, we are still talking about the liquid liquid extraction and we are continuing the uh, solution using Microsoft Excel. So um, before we start, I just want to wrap up what we uh, said before about the, the, the next steps so that we, we know uh, what is the uh, next steps in Microsoft Excel. So uh, we, we mentioned before that we know some information um, and usually the, the known information are the solvent, flow rate and composition. Um, the fresh feed composition and flow rate um, and because these, these are the inputs to the system so I definitely know what's going into the system and I know what is the extract um, composition I know th that I, I have like the feed has 30% of the component that I want to extract and it's, it's gonna leave with 10%, 20%, 5%, whatever the, the, the XN that I, I know about the, the, uh, the output uh, stream. Um, so these are the information I know. And the first step is to um, uh, know the, the information about the, the, uh, the, the overall or the, the uh, inlet and the outlet uh, streams. So I, I'm missing all the information about the V1, which is the solvent leaving the system, and I don't know the flow rate of this stream. So this is the goal of this, um, of this video. Um, is to know how to do this uh, using Microsoft Excel. It is going to be mainly material balance with some kind of solution of equations together. So it's, it's not going to be difficult. So to do this, we we um, we got the the variable m, which is the uh, addition of L node and Vm plus one, or Ln and V1, and we were able to get the um, xc and xa of the point m and the the point of of this uh, point m is to get one more information i'm, I'm not going to go through the all these uh, things again but it is to know um, that i i have ln from this equation i have ln and v1 on the same line and this line has m on it and this is what we discussed in the previous video so i know that um, LN and M1 are, lie on the same line with V1. So I, I can get the point M easily, but now I want to know um, how to get point V1 from LN and V1. Um, first, before we go to this, we know about LN, the X, uh, A. Well, I know I know this, this um, composition of A. Uh, as XA, but I don't know XC, and, and XC actually is simple to get because I know that LN is coming out of a stage and assuming that all the stages are ideal stages, I will get LN on the raffinate line. So this will lie on the line. If I know X, I can easily get this. This can be got um, numerically by getting a, a, an equation that fits with this uh, raffinate line, and then we can substitute in this equation. This is something we will see in, in Excel in a few minutes. Um, but the point here is now I know LN um, as X and Y and I know M as X and Y and I need to know how to do this in Microsoft Excel, how to get this point V1. So simply to, to, to keep in mind that we are just solving equations, I, I can get the equation of this line which is a straight line equation. I, I know two points which is M and LN and, and, and from these two points I can get the slope and the intercept which is pretty simple and straightforward process. Um, and from this equation, I can solve this equation with, with the um, uh, extract uh, line. And the, the solution of these two, uh, or the intersection of these two lines is gonna be the point B1. So this is what I want to do today. And of course, we need to keep in mind that um, after we get these, uh, the, the, uh, the coordinates of the point V1, I can simply get the value of V1 as a flow rate uh, from the X and, and, and Ys. And, and this is just a simple material band, so you can do it with, uh, with your hand. Um, so the solution is, is going to be uh, kind of require some more steps than what we will do with your hand because you're not going to solve any equations by drawing the lines and doing intersections so uh, this why it's going to be a uh, little uh, longer uh, than before but the, the cool thing about this is that you will you will put the equations and if you change anything of the inputs you, you wouldn't worry about anything anymore um, so let's go to microsoft excel and see uh, oops um, and see what we have here um, 
uh, I just need to delete the information that uh, we are gonna use or do today so so th just to, to keep you in uh, on the same page as mine um, I, I have here in this um, um, plot here and here these are the two plots that we did last time actually and the the new thing here is that I um, I was able to get a fit for all the lines I have a fit for the extract line I have a fit for the raffinate line and I have a fit for the XY line um, on on the XY diagram um, to know how I did the fitting, this this was a simple fit. It was just a polynomial equation, so it was it was good. Uh, but for for this line and for the raffinate line and for the equilibrium on the XY diagram line, I was uh, I did this using the method that I demonstrated in another video on this series by breaking it into parts and then putting uh, each part uh, together or, or or putting the parts together. Um, to to know more information, I put the the. Uh, uh, the link to this video in the description so you can visit it if you if you're interested and um, anyways I have now the 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 dots here or the markers um, are for the um, uh, experimental data and the lines are for the fitted data and you see it's it's a very good fit actually so we can we can definitely rely on the uh, the equation that I used to fit um, so let's let's go step by step so the first step I, I would go here first uh, go to um this uh, oops uh this slide let's uh so so this are the permission so the, fir the first thing is to get the the uh, the xc of the point uh, ln um, and to get the xc it's it's gonna be just um, a simple uh a substitution of the equation so it's it, it looks like a uh a very long equation but it's a very simple equation actually so um, I'm, I'm just doing the calculations based on the value of x a um, n instead of the value in the table above. So it's uh, instead of rewriting the equation, I'm just moving the x from there to here. Um, there are many x here, so it's taking some time, but it's uh, ah, yeah, we're done. So now I know it's eight. Uh, the x a is eight, and the x c is one point ninety nine. So if we check here, it's gonna be eight, and this around two. So it, so it it looks right. And again, if you check with the data here, eight is between six and thirteen. So it's gonna be between one point nine and two point three. So we're now good. So I know. Th so so I am I'm I'm now done with this point. The next step is to get m. Um, from material balance so m is gonna be simple actually if you, if you do m it's gonna be the summation of vn plus one and um, l node so these are the the, the values m so um this this is totally known for me this is totally known for me and i i now know this and now i'm defining the point m to get the extract which is the v1 okay so to get the xa is gonna be Again, simple material balance is going to be the YA multiplied by VN plus 1 uh, plus... Um, of course, I don't need to, to do this part because the Y is 0, but I want to make it uh, a, general, uh, a general sheet so that you can use it for any, um, for, for any uh, input, so you don't need to worry about the changing the, the input. Um, so this is um, how the data look like now. The XA is 0.45. Um, and now let's go for the XC, which is going to be the same equation, but calculated from XCs instead of XAs. So it's going to be 62. Um, so point M is going to be something around um, here. Okay. Um, and now I should be... Uh, Okay, or, or, or ready to to do the the slope thing that we mentioned before. So I'm now doing the intersection between these two lines, and the slope is gonna be from the point M and point N. So it's gonna be the x C N minus x C M divided by the x A N minus the x A M. So it's uh, I think I did something wrong because the data didn't. Oh, there is a multiplied here. I'm sorry. Oh, now, now it looks right. Yeah, so it's it's 11. Yeah, because 0.45 is very, very low value. So it's 11 something around here. So it makes more sense. Um, the intercept can be uh, got from the equation. I'm going to be xc minus 
slope multiplied by xa so i have now the slope and the intercept and now i can use the the equation i know the equation of the straight line now so i can do the the straight line equation uh, to ex uh, intersect it with the extract uh, line equation so the extract line to 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 get the extract line uh, or, the, or the intersection between these two i need to calculate I, i'll assume a value of ya I'm, i put it like 20 and then the yc will be calculated from the extract equation which is like uh, luckily a uh, polynomial equation which is a simple equation so i'm not gonna spend much time to um, calculate it from the right cell and now um, of course this is not the right value because i just put any value so um, I'm, I'm gonna do uh, calculate this minus the equation of the straight line which is the slope multiplied by the ya plus the intercept so what i'm doing is just putting these two uh, or getting the difference between the y's of course it's not going to be zero um, the right value of y a would make the difference zero so what i'm i need to do is to go to here goal seek put this to zero by changing the y a and now the two equations are giving the same value and the value of y a1 is 12.38 and for y c1 is 84 so i it's gonna be um, um let's check it it's 12 and 0.84 it's gonna be yeah it looks it looks yeah it looks right it looks right so i'm, I'm, I'm good to go now uh the last thing is to get the value of v1 and ln and to get the value of v1 I'm, i i don't uh, memorize this equation so i need to go and check it so it's going to be xcn minus xcm this so is going to be m multiplied by xcn minus xcm um, divided by the xcn minus yc1 it's xcn minus yc1 um so it's 296 ln is going to be m minus v1 so it's as you see it's a simple material balance equation so I'm, I'm now done i have now after doing this i have all the information um that i was uh, looking for so I'm, i now know where the p1 i know where's ln i know the flow rates of both and um I, I can I can of course pl uh, plot the lines of v uh, v1 ln line and vn plus one l node line and make sure that m lies on both lines. But I'm I'm not gonna do it now just to save some time, and I'm I'm gonna do this and uh, show it to you in the next video. So in the next video, <coughs> we'll see how we will draw the operating line um, on this diagram. As we agreed before, we're not gonna draw anything here uh, because it's it's very. Uh, very tedious and uh, confusing process so it's going to be easy to draw the uh, the stages here <coughs> um, as we do in the installation in the makeup diagram so this is what i'm going to do in the next video inshallah so i'll see you then goodbye